Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So very quickly, I'm just coming on here because um, this is a very long video and I just sat and ended up playing, but you can see that I'm taking, uh, I've been using these Faber-Castell markers. Um, I have so many of them that I had bought before and I've been cleaning. So uh, I got them all at my desk now. So I've been using them like in crazy. So I took uh, like a brown and they're like India ink is what they are, but you can use watercolor uh, markers as well. You use whatever markers you have, Sharpies, whatever. Um, and I just drew around the eyes and then I took a small paintbrush with a little bit of water and I just kind of smudged it out. Um, and you'll see I do this a couple times. Did it with the lips and I go on with the dress and the things and the, all the things. Now I used some um, charcoal pencil, you'll see where I outlined. I added some faux lace by just drawing it and adding some circles, which you're going to see. And um, sorry for the shadow. I was doing this very late last night, um, the first part, but the second part's a little bit better. Uh, I go over the background at the end, which you'll see, and I just sit and play. I'm going to probably put something on here, like, um, because I have her holding a heart, which you'll see. And so I don't quite know what I'm going to put on there yet. I'm adding shading by taking my um, marker, my Faber-Castell marker. Let me, let me see the color if it tells me on here or not. Might not. Uh, just a dark sepia. And I go around the face and then I'm going to take my paintbrush with a little bit of water. I wet my brush and then I blot it off. And then I add the shading with that. Now she's just a little folk art girl. So it's not like I'm going in for realism or anything like that. But I'm just adding a little bit of shading. I've been um, practicing a little bit and playing a little bit more. So, you know, I'm just kind of adding my own... Um, my own little thing. And I like the shading uh, so she's not so flat. But a lot of times when I do my folk art girls, I will just do a plain old, uh, you know, basic uh, face paint, you know, where it's all flat and she just looks like a cute little girl. It depends on what my mood is. Um, this lady is a more mature moment lady. But I added, like I said, my main thing was to show you guys using um, scrapbook paper as skirts, which I know a lot of you do. Uh, but that's, you know, for all you beginners out there, just something to think about differently, especially as we're quarantined at home or you're like me, high risk, and you can't really go to the stores. So I'm just trying to reuse the stuff I have here. So you might be seeing me do this a lot with my uh, fabric, I mean, with my paper, using it in different ways. Now I'm just going in with a light green. This is called citrus green. Um, for the eyes and you'll see I play with the eyes you know a little bit I always do green so I'll do a little dark green um I did dark green as the pupil and then went in with half of the light green let it dry and I'm just adding some light under the eyes um just as a little like brightness I meant to put blush on her at the end but I didn't I probably will go back and do that I really like how she came out I did the uh orange hair which you'll see coming up to kind of um, bounce off that purple. And like I said, you'll see at the end, it needs a few more things. Um, I think I might doodle around again, the above her and beside her with that cool stencil that I was using with the stars. Um, I might do something like that around it just to add a little something. And let me know down below, what should I put on here as her uh, little, little saying? Um, I was going to put, you know, be careful with my heart. I only have one, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to put on. Maybe something happier, maybe something not more. I don't know. I'm going to be doing a darker piece, I think, coming up soon. Now, you can see I'm just adding bright orange as her hair going in, um, you know. Just adding a little bit of curl, a little bit of something, something. But I do love using markers. Uh, I love using colored pencils as well. But, you know, just because you can really, 
when you're using your Faber Castell, you can really use your use them as watercolor for a minute before they dry. They do spread out very nicely. So if you make a mistake, if you you know anything like that, you can go to back and you know fix it or blend it out or something something. Um, you guys know I've been playing with charcoal forever. I have a million charcoal pencils, different colors, and um, I really love playing with those. And they're essentially pastels, I guess. Um, so I was asked uh, to do pastel, which I have used the pastel uh, pens, uh, pencils before, and I will use them again in a canvas. Um, yeah, and I think that's about it. I'm going to add just some music to the end. Uh, if you're interested in watching it, I just finished her and I'm going to paint the outsides. Like I said, I do need something to write. So if you've watched this far um, and would like to give me suggestions, I would love them. Um, I know these are pretty boring to watch, but this is what I've been doing. And you guys sometimes like watching, you know, what I'm doing at home. And this is pretty much it. So but just been playing around, practicing all that fun things. Uh, she'll be for sale if you're interested and as well as other things my Etsy is linked down below as well at the end of the video you can go see it I'll link it up here somewhere if you want to go see I did a hand um, holding the heart I've been trying to do that a little bit more adding some more hands it's not my gig but I've been practicing I wasn't gonna do it in this one because you can see I put her holding her arm I wanted her to be a little sassy, but I ended up doing the little hand anyway, but you can't see it once I put the heart. So, hey, go figure. All right, guys, uh, if you would like to be, you know, join my membership, I, I will be doing live streams again. I will be doing all that. Just hit a little rough patch in my um, life. So that'll be coming up. Um, and yeah, so if you want to be part of my membership down below, if you want to buy anything from me, I'll be having a ton more stuff going up in the process of that as well as paintings jewelry all the things and i hope you guys had a fantastic weekend and have a fantastic week please stay safe uh and yeah i i just love you guys so as always please be kind to each other you never know what battle somebody else is fighting and i will see you guys in my next video enjoy the rest of the video i will see you guys later bye bye <music>